Let's give thanks to God for his divine care and mercy over our lives. Are we giving yes. thanks and worshiping the Lord? Are we exalting the name of God? Thank you. Father, thank you for my wife. Thank you. Thank you thank for giving the goodness. Thank, thank you for the hurt you have given me. I want to worship and pray for every prayer you are doing. I say, glory to you, Lord. Shall I thank you be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for your hand upon us. Thank you for our prayer for us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want to give thanks to God on behalf of our children. When you hear read a lot of things, a lot of things that are happening, you know that the devil, the devil is at work. Uh, I, I had to, I wanted to assign somebody else to lead this prayer because there was a spiritual project I was supposed to handle this morning exactly by 6 a.m. also. And it was actually a child in a particular family. And uh, far away in the outside the country, and the parents are here. And so we are to engage in some spiritual assignment of that child this morning, but it's been postponed to tomorrow. And that was why I had to quickly plan for somebody else to lead prayer this morning. But because it's been postponed, so I told the person, okay, there's no problem. So let me encourage. A lot is happening among our children. And you see, parents will send children to God, and then sometimes, if there is no proper uh, spiritual foundation for that child, and then the child gets out there, and then you begin to hear things, and then you find some children causing their parents and increasing even, even their blood pressure. Sometimes you hear of parents dying of all this kind of maybe heart attack or high, having a kind of high blood pressure is the attitude and the lifestyle sometime of the children who want to thank God for the mercy of God. If you have your children under your control, we should, you should thank God for his mercy. You know, sometimes some people think it's because we have It's not just because we have prayed enough. It's the mercy of God. Let's thank the Lord for his mercy over the life of our children. Pastors and leaders, let's give thanks to God. Let's honor the name of our God. Let's worship him. Let's praise the Lord. Let's adore him. If we do this, God name, worship him forever. Thank you for my children. I thank you for and upon them. I thank you for giving me children that are listening to parents' advice and talks. Worship and bless your name for your hand upon my household, Lord God, now we worship you. Father God, now we bless you. Father God, now we bless you. I give you glory because you are God. I give you glory because it's not like unto you. Lord God, now we bless and reference your name. I love you, we bless and adore your name. Thank you, we bless you, I adore Mind me, we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. This morning, we are going to spend some time after praying some session because I'm dividing the session into two. Session number one is for our children and our spouses. And section number two, we will spend some time praying for Pastor Matthew. Now, there's something I need to say here. 
And uh, because sometimes some people don't know that when they find that there's a delay in the answers to prayer to a particular situation, because there are people who think that every delay is as a result of not, uh, maybe one is not having a right standing with God. That's not true. Mm. That's not true. There yes. are some prayers pray that God actually has answered and the actualization can take a very long, God has answered though, but there's what they call the appropriate time. And sometimes uh, God, you cannot coerce God or boss God or put God in a corner. So you cannot force him, okay, you must do it, do it, no, 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 no. Yes, he can do it, but there are times that there are certain things people force God to do and they end up having what we call permissive will. They want to just boss God and push God and do this and do that. I want to tell us that for all the prayer, as we have been calling upon God, uh, we are not we are not hypocrites. We are not uh, we are not one uh, kind of leaders or pastors who we just come here and blow grandma and then in our secret life we are not living right. By the grace of God, I can say about myself. I can say about. Many of our leaders, we fear God. By the grace of God, we fear God. And when we pray God answer, after all, we pray for other people. And then we call God, and we, we've seen answers. Just this GCK that just concluded now, you would have heard my wife directly on the screen because the first night, a supernatural miracle took place in her life. And then... Mm -hmm. it, Friend on Facebook, you would have seen Pastor Martin should have seen the video because it, a lot of people had commented, a lot of people, a lot of comment on it and all that because we have to record a video at home while she was sharing the testimony with me and the children. And then it, it was a massive testimony. As in, my wife saw what called miracle. She saw what they, this just concluded the message. And then and I saw but before the crusade, we were telling God some things and all that. So God answers prayer. God yes. answers prayer. He does. He answers prayer. So let's not begin to now really... So when we say, okay, let's pray on this issue, and then somebody is wondering, but we have been praying now. Uh -uh. No, now. You have been praying, but you won't stop praying until what you are praying about, it becomes tangible. It becomes visible. It's now in your hand. That's where some people are missing it. They will say, okay, I have prayed now. I'm just waiting for God. No, you keep praying until that thing that you are asking, except you have, except there's a clear, clear instruction by God to stop praying and start praising him that he, has, he is going to give you. Except that. If not, you must keep praying until... Uh, even scripture say by a continual coming, continual, she weary me. And the judge just says, shall God, with, uh, that Jesus now concluding now, with the God of the one that is in heaven, not do uh, right or not do the justice compared to the unjust judge. If the unjust judge could respond to the needs of the woman, to the request of the woman, how about God? Mm -hmm. God is not even unjust. Okay, yeah. he was unjust and he could grant the desire of a request that was persistent about God, who is just. Even Abraham recognized God as the just of all the judge of all the earth. He will always do right. So, I want to go before God. The first session, we will focus on our spouses. So, if you are a woman connected, you pray for your husband. Now, 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 uh, this is another mistake of deeper life. Uh, uh, maybe men and women. Uh, sorry to use the word men and women now. Uh, where they will say, oh, I trust my husband. No, my husband cannot misbehave. <laughs> hey, 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 my husband cannot. And then we say, but pray for your husband, oh. Pray for him and pray and cry to God on his behalf that the temptation of this world will not slay him. The temptation of the children of Belia will not get at him. Arrow of any sin, arrow of scandal, out of immorality, out of lust, and uh, it will not become unguided at any time. And uh, and all of those things, they, they will feel, oh, I trust my husband. No, that's not to talk. A spiritual person don't talk like that because we don't, we are not living in the arm of flesh. If the grace of God is removed from our life, we can do the worst than the worst devil. 
if the moment the strength of the Holy Ghost and the power of the living God is out and the grace of God is out, we will become like a weakling. That's why we cannot ignore prayer. That's why we cannot ignore intercession. That's why we cannot ignore calling upon God for espousing. I know we must we must do it. It's it's an it's a kind of everyday matter. It's a kind of everyday issue. You don't want to die and leave your wife and they're suffering. You don't want to die and leave your husband suffering. You don't want to die without enjoying your children. And there are powers everywhere who want you to just, uh, you know, you are living right there unhappy. You are going to the market, enjoying your husband, they are not happy. You are enjoying your wife, they are not happy. And then you just wonder, and they want to find every way to dagger your heart. They will not get you. They will not get me. They will not get me in the name of Jesus Christ. So we're starting with that. And I'm reading from scripture. I have always led for the children. I have always led about the children. Tell us about our children. I read from the old book. I'm reading from scripture uh, about the children. God has given all these children and they are not given for sorrow. Our children will not be for sorrow. Our Amen. children will be our children will not be for heartache. Our children will be for science. So I read Isaiah chapter 8. Isaiah chapter 8. And I'm reading verse 18. Isaiah chapter 8. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for science and wonder. We're going to pray right now. Prayer point number one. Uh, myself and my children. My wife and my children. They will be for science. They will be for wonder. Amen my children why they will be for sign and they will be for wonder shall we go before the lord make my children a wonder in their world make my children wonder in their world oh pray pastor pastor peter pray for those amazing children pray for those graduated talking prayer let's talk to god in prayer in jesus name we pray amen in jesus name we pray amen I believe we're praying in matthew chapter 2 now when jesus was born in swan now when jesus was born bethlehem of judah in the days of Herod the king behold there came wise men from the east to jerusalem saying where is he that is born of the Jew? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. Want to pray all those star washers who are watching star to monitor star. Any power wanting to monitor the star of my children and to put the star in the name of Jesus, may God deal with those power. Please don't pity them. Any power to stop the rising, the rising of the star. The rising of the children, all the money to age, money to age. Father, we pray that you will restore power. We arrest them and put them far away from our children. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, God, we pray that I will be upon these children and that you will want us in their life. Oh Lord, Amen. I was, I was somewhere yesterday. I actually, I should not have even connected to that meeting last night, but I had to because I got home tonight, you know, from combined service, come back home straight to uh, service again for online covert. After moderating online covert, I had to join physical rally again. I left before the closing went somewhere and came back tonight. Now, what happened? Do you know that where I went, a mother was telling me about her son. 
that when the son was in primary three, was it primary three or KJ KJ three? Because she was telling me some of the experiences, and she said, uh, "This is someone that her husband happened to be a deeper life. Yes, her husband. I've known the husband for so many years." He actually one of our leaders there, but the woman had left the part life, but the husband is still deeper life also. Now, and the, the wife was the one telling me all this, that in, in KG3, the child, was that one of their children, uh, that one, just memory loss, just memory loss in KG3. And the, the bad two years and then, eventually she was telling me of one of her, her daughters again, where... How will a child just wake up and you are punching like you want to find Chinese uh, thing and all of that? You know, they have strange, strange encounter children just encounter in the day, and then you'll be wondering, and they'll be displaying it in the real life. Oh, there are powers, there are powers. So, we want to pray right now, we want to ask the Lord. You know, in Yoruba, there's this thing they call uh, uh, Irawo. Irawo. Irawo is like star. Am I correct? Like star, right? Yes. yes. It's like star. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Hey. So Irawo. So there are these people. These some of these people. They they would have seen Irawo or someone. They would have seen the glory of someone or the star of someone, and they would say, "Oh, come on! This child is going to have a conspicuous, a brighter, a glorious future." The Irawo is very bright and all of that, and they begin to conjure here and there. Every power that want to conjure for my daughters. Mm -hmm. Every power. Yes. So as to kill the Airawo, God will kill those power. God will destroy those power. The Bible says that they get a fish are fall into it. The Bible yeah. says, let no man trouble me. Let no man trouble my Let's pray. Nonsense, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Every star Jesus, every star, everyone that will want to keep the star of children. Father, we pray, oh Lord, the mighty power, we arrange them and put them to bottomless pit, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, I will pray that you lay your hand upon our children and that child that is saying, so many more, Lord, from KG3, Lord, to we are able to restore all that the enemy has destroyed, all that the Kakom has eaten for our pain, and to restore that child, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I was Jesus, we pray. We have mercy upon them, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I come to verse 3. And when Herod the king had heard ah, this thing, he was troubled and not Jerusalem with him. Can you imagine? A child was born and he was troubled. What's the problem? Was he not supposed to be happy? Why, why should he be troubled? Why should one be troubled that somebody is having a glorious star? I hope you know there are neighbors like that. There are family members like that. And then when they know that a child is doing very well academically or doing well generally in life, they are troubled. They are disturbed. And they begin to like so. Show me pay him our job and all of that. And they begin to get jealous and they begin to get envious. And then they are looking for a way to bring that child down. Doing everything. You 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 hear story of people who even go to the abalist and then they want to bring another children down, especially all these polygamous home. And then you find a lot of rivalry, a lot of uh, pandemonium here and here. Herod was troubled. Yes. In the name of Jesus, may they be troubled as they try to bring our children down. May they be troubled yeah. like God. May they be troubled yeah. like God. Let's see. Let's yeah. see what Aaron tried to do. Let's see what Aaron tried to do. Then Aaron, in verse 7, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time they start up here. Can you see the star I was talking about? When they start up here, and he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, go, search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. A pure liar, liar. He's not coming to worship. He was coming to destroy him. And when they are at the king, they departed and lo, the star which they saw in the air went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. That's a wise man. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young man child with Mary his mother, fell down and worshipped him. 
And when they had opened their treasure, they presented some gift. And eventually, we saw what happened. They couldn't go back to Herod and tell Herod the information at all. They, they went the other way because they were warned, stemly never to return to Herod. And we saw what happened. Herod began to plot how to eliminate Jesus. We want to pray. As Herod could not eliminate baby Jesus, no power will be able to eliminate my children. That's a prayer. That's a prayer. As Herod could not eliminate baby Jesus, no demonic asset manipulation, no demonic maneuvering will be able to eliminate my children in the name of Jesus Christ. They are indestructible. Pray, my children, indestructible. My children, indestructible. Children, children, indestructible. My children, pray that you put the same protection upon our children, that no matter what powers, no matter what people gang together, no matter what and join together to take an oath or has answered our children and they will Amen. be great in the name of jesus they will be wonder unto many the lord god in heaven will take them very far in life take them high in life in jesus name amen, amen. very quickly we we're taking the book of genesis we're looking at the book of genesis and we saw the story we saw the case of uh rachel rachel made some statement uh, she said something she ought not to have said, and then we could see what happened eventually. In Genesis chapter 30, verse 1, when Rachel saw that she bear children, no, she bear Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children or else I die. Give me children or else I die. She died. She died. She died. I want to ask the Lord to have mercy upon us as a have mercy on our spouse where negative or trans had been altered. You know, there are times uh, my wife may just say something and then immediately I will just say, no, words are very powerful. Don't say that. Don't say that. And all that. Because I know that there are no empty words. Even when you don't mean it, there are powers everywhere that can fly and pick those words. We want to cry to God when negative words had been declared and pronounced on our spouse, or they themselves have pronounced negative things on themselves, want to pray that by the mercy of the Lord, all of those negativity will be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's talk to God in prayers. Well, then, everyone will pray that every mass, every evil mass that the wicked has put upon our children, this morning will come. To Calvary, we pray, we wash them with the blood of Jesus and wash them clean over our liquid that we know we can fold against any of them who is prosper. Every time that we rise up against them, then the judgment that all Lord shall condemn in the name of Jesus. Father, preserve our children, Lord. Father, we can preserve our children, Lord. Oh, Lord, God, I want every evil thing that spouses, spouses, uh, uh, Father. We cut them off this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In I Jesus in pray. Amen. Why did Rachel, why did why did she say that? She was emotionally uh disturbed. She was before she could say, Give me children as I die. After all, Jacob was not the one that is responsible. Jacob wasn't even responsible for all of that. And so sometimes when we don't trace it well, we say things we are not supposed to say. And because of that utterance that uh, Rachel made, we could see the repercussion of that utterance. She couldn't enjoy her children. She couldn't enjoy Joseph. Neither was she able to enjoy Benjamin. 
So she died without enjoying the labor of her hands. She died without enjoying what she had waited for. One to pray. I refuse to lose my wife. I refuse to lose my husband. I am not going to be a widower. I refuse that in the name of Jesus. You are not going to be a widow. You refuse that. Please, these are not just prayer. These are declaration. We are declaring to God my wife will not die and give you by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the spirit of God and the power of the Holy Ghost. Morning, my wife, Father, in heaven, I pray that your power will rest upon her and we cure her of every disease, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Make her a stable and steady person, a steady, loving wife. And care, mother, O oh Lord, our household, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I will know as you should. To Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The Lord has answered in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for Pastor Matthew now. The scripture tells us to carry one another's body. Amen. I want to pray for his own. Me, I will never, never get tired of praying for him. And uh, so some of our pastors too, by the grace of God, I know they are not tired. And, and we're trusting God that until we see our, the manifestation of what we are asking the Lord for. You know, uh, I got a, a message from him where he sent, uh, he sent something down. Uh, okay, where is sent the message on the? Uh, I think uh, Pastor Pastor Peter will know about this because yes, sir. you'll be wondering uh, how on earth will somebody lay all of this. So some. Of these things are quite strange. I mean, extremely strange. And you know that this cannot be, this cannot be of God. And uh, it's either Satan is just pushing uh, this person, or the person is pushing us, or the person is being triggered by some power somewhere, or some sibling somewhere, or some advisor somewhere, whoever they are. And uh, we're not playing with one. Uh, we're not playing with anger or whatsoever, but we just want every nonsense to stop. We want every nonsense to stop. And then, uh, like I've told Pastor Matthew, the truth is that no evil shall be falling. And he's not going to die and leave the children. Uh, so it should not just uh, begin to allow uh, thinking, worry, and anxiety. It should be himself with God. So I want to pray for Pastor Matthew first. I want to ask the Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will stand by him. You see, there's nothing as beautiful as the Lord standing by you. See, look at it now. Let me show you a promise. Uh, Pastor Matthew, take this promise, very important promise, in Genesis 28, in verse 15. Look at it. And behold, I am with thee. Amen. And behold, I am with thee. And we keep thee in all places whither thou goest. Listen to this. I will, and I will bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee all. What a promise. What a promise. He said, I am with thee, and I will keep thee in all the places. Let's pray. God will keep Pastor Matthew in all the places. Sometimes you hear, oh, he had an accident. And God has been keeping him in all the accidents that would have claimed his life. In all the accidents that would have wasted him. God has been faithful, shielding him and protecting him. You cannot even tell how many arrows have been shot against him. He told me something recently, and it was very shocking, very shocking, that it's like when you are you are trying to deliver someone now, for example, and then the people uh, that are behind that problem are trying to now attack you, who is trying to deliver, but they cannot, even those of us that are praying, they can't catch us. No, our life is hidden in God. We cannot be scared of all those small, small power. We cannot be scared of all those yeah, yeah power. We cannot be scared of those nonsense power. Our life is it in God and in Christ. 
If they can kill God, then they can kill me. If they can kill Christ, then they can kill me. My life is not in my hand. Is it in Christ? Is it in Christ? I want to call upon God that the God of heaven will shield Pastor Matthew. Shield him from every demonic aspect. Father, we pray that your mighty power will shield him, your mighty power will preserve him, your mighty power will keep him from all evil. In the name of Jesus, come to kill me also, Lord, I will pray, oh Lord, that this through your mighty hand will rest upon them. You will keep them from all evil, even angel, oh Lord, that is still with the mother. Father, we pray that your protecting power will be upon our own, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, Just yourself, Lord. Yourself, Lord. Amen. Now let's let's get something clear here. Let's get something clear, very clear here. Now, even when the person doesn't really want to do anything silly or anything, and then maybe you have advisors. The advisor could be sibling, so and then the sibling probably they are, you know, you 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 know there are some family, eh? You just wonder what is somebody's trouble into this kind of family. Because you just discover that the father. Is evil, mother, evil, siblings, evil, everybody, just evil. And there may be only one person is not really evil there. And then they are not trying to pollute that one too, so that everybody can just, they are family like that. Everyone is just evil. I said God just intervened. Evil, evil, juju, juju, powers. Even when they say they are going to church, they see I want juju, they are, they are keeping somewhere, they are consulting somewhere, and all that. Every instigation from the pit of hell, Every instigation from the marine kingdom against Pastor Matthew, every instigation from Coven, every instigation from white garment churches, or anywhere to burn candle, to burn that one, whatever they are burning, in the name of Jesus, it will be secure. Internal God is his refuge. Underneath him at the everlasting arm, God will secure his servant. The Lord will secure him. It will not be said, Oh, he was driving someday. Oh, something happened. He had an accident and he died. God forbid. It will not be said someday. Uh, actually, the blood pressure shoot up and they couldn't control it. They say he just fell down. And God forbid. No evil shall befall his servant. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, bring your servant before your throne of mercy this morning. You are giving your promises that no evil will come before any of your servants. Father, we pray and commit everyone of us to your hand. We pray that your mighty power will preserve and keep us from all evil, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let's pray. Let's talk to God in prayer. Let's talk to God in prayer. The Lord will shield him from every evil. The Lord will shield him from every evil. Every evil. The Lord will preserve him, protect him. And the children, Akiwumi, an angel. The Lord will shield them, shield them from every demonic attack, attack from the pit of hell, attack from the marine kingdom, attack from Coven, attack, whatever. They will not be given anything to swallow and then thereby, or, you know, causing them to become evil too. They will not be instigated against their parents, against their, their father. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen want to pray whatever influence is on the children that will become uh, a kind of disastrous thing in the future that will become something uh, uh, very devastating in the future may the god of heaven deliver those children you know they are still very fragile <laughs> then when they begin to see all of this they've been perpetrated it can form things in their heart we want to pray god shield these children they have seen a lot they have seen a lot of things and there are things they may not be saying now. And those things may those things not become uh become a bit and then maybe form their decision in life. There are some children because of the trauma they have been faced with when they were childhood, and the thing will become so part of their life that when they even become adults, it's only God that will just deliver them. And when they not get married, they begin to display something. And then for the wise husband, the that one will get to 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 the wife as what is the problem? How was your childhood like? Why are you acting this way? And then you will not discover, oh, she has not been healed from the trauma. May God heal the children from every trauma they are facing now. May God deliver them from every trauma they are facing now. I'm telling you, 
Now all this going to court, going to this one, going to case here, going to, they are aware, they are saying it. They may not voice out much. They may not say more, but they are saying things. And we want to cry to God. God will heal them from every trauma. Spiritual trauma, emotional trauma, physical trauma. May the God of heaven deliver them and heal them in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Father and everyone come before your throne of mercy this morning. We pray for your hand upon our life, Father. Let your power work mightily upon mm -hmm. us. And let your delivery power be upon us, O Lord, from every evil, from every arrow of the wicked. Father, preserve the Lord, we heal them. We heal them. Lord, we heal them. We heal them. We heal them. We heal them. Father, Jesus. Name. Amen. I want to pray for ourselves again now. Uh, the, this aspect is the economy aspect. We are praying for the men in the house. God will promote you. God will lift Amen. you up. God will Amen. bless the work of your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. You want Amen. to pray now for the favor of God and the mercy of God upon you this week that the Lord God will go before you and make this week a prosperous week. Let's declare over this week. This week will be a prosperous week. It is called Ojo Aje. It will be Ojo Aje for everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Yes, everyone pray that you will bless us this week, O oh Lord. All that we do with our hands, we look upon them. So that it is so good. O Lord, that you are going to spend power. Walking on us, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. In the name Jesus Christ. Your might and you'll be with us. To the destination, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your might, Father, we pray by the power and the Lord Jesus. We are going to be blessed. With our family is going to be blessed. Our children is going to be blessed. Our wife is going to be blessed. Our husband is going to be blessed. Everyone is going to be blessed in the name of you. Lastly, I want to pray as many who are still struggling in one area or the other, they are struggling, no job at all. And, you know, <laughs> for those in Nigeria here, yeah, they can tell that even when you owe 100,000, it's like you are holding 10,000 naira. When you owe 200,000, so it's like you are just holding 20,000 naira. Practically almost money not having value. When you buy PMS uh, for or whatever, then that's when you will understand the situation. A lot are going through a lot, a lot, a lot. And that as a result, you find many families coming to beg this, beg, that. even the ones that are working. We even still be begging you, please help me with this. We don't have anything at home and all that. The situation is very critical for many families. We want to pray right now and tell the Lord, we are calling upon God in this platform. We will not. In fact, when I say that our people will be blessed tremendously, it's not, it's not that, ah, does God answer this kind of prayer? Of course he does. So if you're a woman here, yeah, pray for your man, pray for your man, pray for your husband, that in the name, even that little thing that your husband is doing, God will breathe upon it. So naturally, God will breathe upon it. So naturally, God will breathe upon it. There will be expansion. There will be favor. There will be mercy. There will be goodness of God upon that work. And in the name of Jesus, you people will not eat for hand to mouth. We will not eat for hand to mouth. We will have in abundance in the name of Jesus. That's the last prayer. Thank you. Pastor Matthew. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, two things I want us to take to challenge today. And then the Bible let me say that we should pray for Jerusalem for everyone of us that want the peace of Jerusalem shall be prosper. Uh, individually, you know, we see more than the government. Um, and then it's like, why government shouldn't do this? We see we are suffering. You, the president, I'm not, I'm not afraid of saying the, saying the name or something like that. You, the president, you see that we are suffering. Although 
buying the jet or exchanging the jet may mean nothing within the government circle, within the revenue of uh, Nigeria revenue. But uh, as a woman, babe, you need to be thinking that, okay, buying the jet, is it the next thing your common people are suffering seriously? How are they going to be thought about it? Especially if, when you look at the way, uh, let's say, uh, bra, uh, Pastor Yomi is the head of the house. Look at the way it's working. Look at the money is coming in. If my brother says, okay, I want to buy this Benz, but the way it's working, it doesn't cost him anything. Like what, like Pastor Peter and then, uh, now, but because of the the family, the wife, the children, that thought can never come to their mind. The same thing should be our president. That okay, yes, this money is there, and then I may decide to buy this. But what about the the common man? What will be the effect in their life? You know, it doesn't cost them how many days to build the vice president house, something about $13 billion. If I'm not exaggerating, it is a lot that one they buy jet again. Uh, I've been telling people that, okay, what you can do, which I think, I'm not in Nigeria by the grace of the Lord, uh, not by power, but why can't everybody go back to farming? That if one, we remember Operation Feed the Nation during the time of Obama's job, and then maybe there will be more food. Because if the food are totally taken out, I think people will be rely uh, a, a little more. But that's what I say. We see beyond the government. This money is there. What are they using it for? I listened to one uh, program recently. The African Development uh, Bank chairman said, if our oil, they have not taken them out of land, I don't know. They have not taken already. They have used it for loan. The oil they have not exploited. They have used it for loan. That immediately they exploit that loan. Uh, the oil already, already it is on loan. So it's not. It is not our own again. Uh, a lot of things like that. So I'm pleading with every one of us. Maybe like our prayer online like this. What is your thought? The government should be doing. Because there's no amount of noise we can make that we reach them. Is that one under our own roof? Maybe you are going to be presenting it on online uh, uh, on our prayer line. God, God, let our government remember agriculture. God, let our government remember education. God, uh, instead of buying debt, let our government remember common man. So that maybe when everyone first is praying like that, and we are seeing the weakness of the government. Maybe we know what we are going to do because I don't know the Nigeria case is so sympathetic, and then even some of us that we are not there, I won't deceive, I won't deceive you. We find it difficult to sleep just because of the Nigeria case. But I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus that God will help us in Jesus' name. So let us come together and continue to keep from keep praying. Bring prayer point about them almost every day. What you think they should do? We send them our prayer requests platform and i know that one will bring uh enlightened people and many people will be praying god is going to do it in jesus name yeah. uh, so uh, the mm -hmm. other area uh, we are going to do is that we call upon the name of the lord father no matter what the case uh, the case may be take me to the promised land in jesus name yeah. many people are of us when you see the promises of god that be, be, be before us but only people, people get to their promised land because of one thing or the other. Moses was promised. He even challenged that if you go and take the Israelite to the promised land, because of one thing or the and on that, and most people, the people I, I, God created everything. I, I, I don't, I don't know how to present this thing. Do you want to tell me that God does not know that God uh, Moses will not get to promised land? When he sent him to go and take the Israelites out of the out of Egypt land, but along the line, something happened to Moses, and he couldn't get to the promised land. Yeah. The same thing, many of us we have a lot of promises before us, the, a lot of promises in the Bible, 
but we are just hearing it. It's not fulfilled in our life. We will not call upon the name of the Lord. Everyone pause. The King of Kings, Lord of Lords, there I am. I present myself before you. Father, let me get to promised land in the name of Jesus Christ. All these promises that, that is in the Bible, Abraham's blessing is, is mine. That one is even enough. It's enough. If anything happens again, the Abraham blessing is mine. It's enough for us to get to that promised land. We now call upon the name of the Lord. Whatever we take away promised land from me, out of my life, that do not let me enjoy the promises of the Bible. Father, take them away from me in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. This is prayer, prayer. That's, this is prayer, prayer session. We are not many. We are not many. And we have this great opportunity to call upon the name of the Lord this morning. I hope we are not sleeping. I hope we can be unmuted. We are not more than seven or six. Call upon the name of the Lord. I don't know how many of that is on YouTube. But call upon the name of the Lord. The King or King, Lord of Lord. I call upon, you, upon the name of your, I call upon your name. Father, may, let me get to the promised land. Where is part of that promised land? Do not be a beggar. It's part of that promised land. Do, do not be begging before eating is that for that, that promised land. To avoid to be open for us is that of that promised land. For our children to succeed is that of that promised land. For our children to be able to take care of us at the old age is that of promised land. For our, our children to, to, to be to be, uh, made, to be smart in their education is that for their, their promised promise land. For you to be the heir, to be the heir, the Bible says we shall be the heir and not the tail. Is that for promised land? My dear brother, my dear sister, oh my God, why don't you call upon the name of the Lord? The King of King, Lord of Lords, please take me to that promised land. 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 Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Won't you pray for your wife? Won't you pray for your husband? Yes, many people are making noise that they are feeling hungry. But yes, there is a money in Nigeria, I'm telling you. There is money in Nigeria. Have you been have you, have you watching them? How they are throwing money, how they are doing a lot of things. How they are doing a lot of, a lot of things. Because I'm still on, on the, on the, on the, on the, on, 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 their mother-in-law or their father will go and see how they are spending this money. And then you will look at this, this, this money, they are spending it like they are we are suffering. That means the money is somewhere. Call upon the name of the Lord, King or King of the Lord. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, take me to the promised land. All the promises, all the words, the words that have been promised upon my life, all the promises of the all the promises in the Bible. Remember what the GS says. So many times I will ask them that they should go and bring all the promises in the Bible for me and I will be reading it. They are getting to part of the promised land. That Baba has getting to his, has getting to the promised land. What about you? What about me? Why are we suffering? We are still begging. We are still, we are still looking for food to eat. We are still finding difficult to take care of our children. To take off our family, call upon the name of the Lord. Father, what is that thing? That do not let me continue to enjoy the promise that I have not taken. Then let me get to the promise that Father, shake it out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. 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 It is your portion. It is your time. It is your time this evening. It is your time this morning. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, take me to promise that in the name of Jesus Christ. Take something out of my life, oh Lord. Take life and delay that I don't have. Take it out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of What is that thing that will not let me get to the promise and family? My own personal sin. My you know ignorance or whatsoever that will not let me take go to the promised land. Father, take them away in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. Death is not my portion. It's part of not getting to the promised land. Not able to feed the children, not able to feed the world. It's, it's, it's not getting to the promised land. That's not the promise of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the Even when they lack, He provides manna for them. Why not manna on your own table? Why not manna in your own house? 
for the way and the manner your lead, uh, leader had led us, that even in the midst of cry and complain, we can get to our promised land. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Of the uh, deprivation, in the midst of all of the things that people are experiencing, the economy downturn, the economy, the depressive states, and dwindling states, we can ask so much that we become lenders of the nation. <laughs> that you will open our eyes to see the opportunities around. Amen. Amen. A natural idea that we change our generation Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank God. We know, even in the midst of all of this, a man was telling me just yesterday that, oh, this uh, government favor me. This government favor me. Not, it's not even a politician. It's just Amen. a normal not a person. The body was telling me, oh, so so time this uh, within this month is expecting four million for so so <laughs> bank because of the investment, and uh, by so so this uh, he made so so millions and all of the, just investment and all of that. And it was like, oh, this uh, poli- why others are complaining of oh, this policy this day. But he discovered that he invested in the bank and share and some other thing, and money is coming in like in fact, this he was just talking and talking yesterday. Not a but not normal man, normal man, but he was able to you know generate an idea and put money here, put money here. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the midst of plenty, we will be beggars. Amen. Of, we will not be running elter scatter. Amen. Amen. Mm. For our spouses mm. and we we'll pray for our children, we will mm. reap the fruits of our labor. Amen. Our, Amen. Amen. Our, Amen. our eyes, our husband will not die before our eye. We will live all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every arrow, every attack, every plan, every maneuvering, every manipulation from COVID anywhere, or kidnapper, abductor, whatever they call them. Jesus Quality. Jesus Amen. They will, not, they will not say the people related Amen. the hand of the Lord shall secure us. As we Amen. go into testimony is our Lord. We shall return and give glory to your name. Amen. Thank you. Our lives are covered in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We pray. Amen. 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 By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, uh, we will get there in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, I'm telling you, look at but many of us because of our uh the way we are trained, we may not be looking at some time. Go and look at the online, look at how they are blowing money. I'm telling you, go and look at the way they are blowing money. If one by the time they give somebody 13,000 uh, uh, million or online, just you will see it play play like how they are spending that money, and you look at how that we are still, many people are suffering. Eh? Mm. So I know that we are going to get there in then. You will just be thinking that see mm-hmm. this money, mm-hmm. just let them give me one hundred thousand naira. I will be okay. Mm-hmm. And you will see them rolling that ball of money. Then where is it? But by the power, as, as Pastor has said, 
We will get, we will get there in Jesus' name. And God is going Amen. to do more in the name of Jesus Christ. I Amen. don't know how God is going to do it, but it's very, very sympathetic. It's very, very simple. Many people are dying. Many people are dying only. God will help us in Jesus' name. Thank you, everybody. Amen. Please continue to put prayer requests about Nigeria online. Let us start it. God will answer our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. And we are Amen. going to put both prayer in Jesus' name. Let's share Amen. the grace together. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Fellowship of Holy Spirit. Thank you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. God bless you, Yeah. 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 Yeah.